Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, May 20th. Got some mail today. First off, uh, a little a little prize from Chase at Chase and Inc. If you're not familiar with Chase's channel, you need to be if you're into autographs and TTMing. I'll drop a link below. This is from Chase. I opened the envelope and I read your note, I believe, but I haven't really got into the particulars of what uh, the goodies are here. So basically, I know at least one thing in here is a Scott Erickson card that was essentially a giveaway for commenting on, on a video that you had put up. Thank you for the note. Thank you for supporting the channel. It really means a lot. Add that to my little YouTube collection along with your cool card here. Can't wait to see what else we got going on. I like that. By the way, I've always been very jealous of your facial hair. Some of us just can't grow facial hair or it just doesn't look right on our faces. And I'm one of those people. So there's the channel card. Here's the Scott Erickson. And about this time, Fleer started doing a really good job with their all-star cards and their inserts and subsets where they started really getting uh, adding a lot of the gold foil type stuff and I think it was 92 Fleer had a really cool Tony Gwynn sub subset um, or an insert set that was starting to use a lot of the a lot of the foil really before a lot of other companies were using it but uh, very cool card Scott Erickson very good picture for the twins world champion James Jones, former Mariner. Uh, don't have, I don't think I have any James Jones cards. Um, very fast, but you got to be able to get on base if you're going to wreck havoc on them. And Jones sort of struggled with that. Lastly, oh, nice. Terry Beeson. I don't know, was uh, this a 78, 79? I don't know my football cards as well as. Looks like 1980 tops. Okay. So Beeson was on uh, a lot of the early Seahawks teams. I don't think he was on the inaugural team. I don't think he was on the 76 Hawks, but 77 and 78, maybe four or five years after that. Um, big part of their, their defense. So the other thing in today is a Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer. I haven't opened this yet. I know what it is, of course, because I got it from eBay. But what I like to do when I get my Hall of Famers is do a little Who Am I? And just sort of give you a chance to learn a little bit, maybe, hopefully. And just sort of make some guesses. You can kind of show off your your vast expertise of, of baseball knowledge. So here we go. Usually I sort of start with like generic kind of stuff and then work my way up to simpler clues. So that by the time we're done, if you're going to know it, then it's obvious. So, I'm a Hall of Famer, obviously. I was inducted in 1985. I'm an eight-time All-Star. I pitched in the 54 World Series and got a save in Game 3. I pitched two and a third innings. Gave up just one hit, struck out three in the 54 World Series. I have two ERA titles I pitched 21 years for the White Sox, the Giants, the Orioles, the Braves, the Dodgers, the Indians, the Cardinals, and the Cubs. Whew, boy, that was tough. Uh, I was the first pitcher to appear in, uh, <laughs> I almost said 11, in 1,000 games to make 1,000 appearances. Since then, I want to say there's like five or six others have done it, but I was the first uh, after I retired, I was a pitching coach and a manager. I have 124 relief wins, which is still an all-time record. Here's where the clues get a little better. Easier, maybe. I was a World War II vet. I didn't start my career until I was 28 years old. I fought in the Battle of the Bulge in World War II, got a Purple Heart, and as a result... My nickname is Old Sarge. I am primarily known for throwing one pitch. 
And Eddie finally started reading this book, and I'm featured very prominently in it because I am one of the knuckleball masters. Who am I? You may pause, enter your guests below, or don't. And here we go. I didn't do a very good job of cutting the actual seal part of this. So I got this card for about $10 delivered. And for some reason, I had never looked into getting this person's autograph. And I was just really shocked at how affordable it was. So here we go. If you haven't figured it out by now, I am Hoyt Wilhelm. And I'm in some kind of weird snap down. That's okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, really affordable. Uh, not super, the H is a little bit not perfect. But I want to say it was about $9 to my door. And for someone that's been deceased as long as he has and as accomplished as he is, not a player error card, but still really affordable. So he must have just been an absolute signing machine. And here he is pictured with the Giants. Like I said, 54 world champion. Master, one of the knuckle knuckleball masters. So really happy to get this. Uh, I'm going to link a little biography here that the Hall of Fame page has up for him. It's less than a minute long, but gives you some cool old photos and... Uh, just a little bit more biographical information. Really happy to get this. I have another Hall of Famer coming in, I think tomorrow, but possibly Friday. Um, Chase, thanks for the cool cards. And uh, thank you guys for checking out my video today. Later. <laughs>